My name's John Alexander. I'm 52 years old. I've been a construction worker all my life. Over the years, my body's been breaking down and I've had a couple operations on my shoulder and I don't want to take pharmaceutical pills. I'm a veteran of the United States Marine Corps. Um, I'm a two-time breast cancer survivor and I have a history of PTSD. Nightmares, flashbacks, loud noises, like uh, the car door shutting. It just like made my heart jump like a little bit. I am a veteran who suffers from PTSD. Canacare, they're uh, they're gonna be helping me out to help get rid of all my body pains from working hard labor all my life. During my chemotherapy, I was allergic to all the nausea medications. I didn't know anything about medical marijuana. I, I didn't know how to go about it, and I figured I might just give it a shot. So Canacare gave me the chance to live a normal life. It's the sleeping, the restless nights. Once you see it once, it, it's very, very hard to get it out of your head. But smoking weed does help you forget it. A little bit, that is. My name is Marta Downing, and I am the COO and New Business Development Director at Canacare Docs. And we're here to help you gain safe access in a compliant, compassionate, and confidential way. I originally got involved in uh, the medical marijuana industry through the dispensary process, and through that, I found what really drove me and what I felt passionately about was the patient side. And I wanted to be part of the discussion on how to bring cannabinoid therapies into the traditional medical environment. We feel strongly that veterans can use cannabinoid therapies to treat their PTSD. Well, I just noticed that my like anger like is bad. Like it could be like simplest of anything to like get me just angry and just like scared. I would say pretty much what what it is. I think PTSD and anything could really trigger it off. It just it's up to you. It's up to your brain. It's whatever. But my brain, I, I can't stop thinking about it. Which sucks because I've been out since 2012. For um, a patient suffering for from post traumatic stress syndrome, first you're gonna feel anxious. That might lead to aggression. That can tragically lead to violence. Cannabis can interrupt that process. I can only imagine if I didn't smoke it, how much anxiety and stress-related instances that like I've happened before, like panic attacks and stuff, probably would have happened a lot more. And I still suffer from it every day. Like I never left. Uh. Oh yeah, well, me and uh, me and a couple of my buddies, we were going to the defect, and we were about, I'd say, a hundred feet, honestly, from the defect, the dining facility. We were about to walk in, and a mortar came through the defect as we were in there. And all you're hearing is you got know, your comrades screaming and yelling. You know, you walk in, you don't walk in. We didn't walk in. We busted in, trying to say like, you know, get people out of there because you know things about to catch on fire, and it's just it's just something you never want to see. It's just everybody, it's, it's terrible. It's a terrible sight. Traditional medications to treat chronic pain, like opiates, have a long half-life, and as you use them chronically, you become immune to uh, what you first started taking them for. Uh, cannabis has a very short half-life, so we can interrupt the pain without interrupting the rest of your day in a fog or a haze of opioids. I've been going to the VA. I don't really tell them what's wrong with me because all they want to do is just throw the pills at you, you know? Got to get away from the opiates. When I had my shoulder operated on, I took them for like two weeks and it just ripped my head apart. I thought there was electricity flowing through my brain. And after I got through that, I started smoking it. The side effects are happiness, hunger, sleep, pharmaceuticals, it's your ass falls out, you bleed from your eye sockets and everything else. So I'll, I'll take the sleep and the munchies and be happy. Cannabis in general is a way for each patient to take charge of their own wellness. People are using cannabinoid therapies to cure cancer. I was first diagnosed with breast cancer August of 2011. 
During um, the multiple surgeries for my reconstruction, they found that my cancer had come back in the lymph nodes under my left arm. The chemotherapy caused severe nausea, and the pharmaceuticals such as Reglan, Compazine, Thorazine, they tried with me and I was allergic to all of them. Um, and if anybody knows what extrapyramidal symptoms are, it's very, like, uncomfortable. Using the cannabis um, actually gave me the strength to be able to put some food in me. And um, the other piece it did to me, too, is it helped me sleep at night. Cannabis, to me, changed my life. Canicare changed my life. And my whole position behind it now is advocacy and education. You know, what the, what the VA gives you is, you know, the, the real deal. It's, it's the man-made, powerful stuff that you can get addicted to. I'd rather smoke weed, which grows out of the ground, it's just going to help you just as much, if not more, than the, like, the Percocets, the Vicodins that I see all these veterans getting addicted to, like, quick, you know what I mean? And, you know, if you're suffering from PTSD like me, I, I think it's the best thing out there. Cannabis medicine um, has got incredible potential. Coming back from, from multiple deployments, uh, there's so many challenges, and, and sometimes there's a financial challenge. And we thought that this was a really good place for us to make a difference in that community. We've certified over a thousand Massachusetts veterans for free and offered them cannabinoid strategies to treat their PTSD. A lot of veterans sometimes don't get the disability that I get and they're not approved. So, you know, having this free rec for veterans to get their card, absolutely outstanding. Canicare, you can get the ball rolling with your card caregiver. You can get your organic weeds, I guess, and get somebody to grow it for you so there's absolutely no chemicals in your uh, medicine. With medical marijuana, you get to find out a strategy that works best for you. You have the opportunity to take an active role in your own medicine. It's like the old saying, uh, man made alcohol, God made weed. Who do you trust? You know what I'm saying? Same thing applies with the pharmaceuticals, so 